SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I got a huge AT&T upgrade uh, and an update to share with you guys here. Uh, I'm going to explain to you in this video why this is such a big deal. Give you all the details about this upgrade and why it's so impactful and what it means for AT&T and its customers. All right, guys. So um, this is these are images that are shared over on my Patreon page. And uh, YouTube members also got a community post here on the YouTube side. A uh, salute to those folks there as well uh, as the patrons and you know with respect to the content this is a big deal because you know that these photos show us something they show us what at&t is doing they're transforming their network anyways if you want to support me on those platforms links are in the description please do like and share this video subscribe if it's your first time here turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the smt all right folks what you are seeing is a completed nokia to ericsson conversion what AT&T is doing, they have gone completely Ericsson on a nationwide scale. Uh, they're they're going to do a rip and replace on all these tower sites that are, you know, old and outdated. Uh, actually, this tower site was really old and very outdated. The last time it was probably upgraded was like 2019 or 2020, maybe. So it's been at least, I'd say probably five years in all likelihood, if not older um, I don't know what, what radios were previously there. I don't know, to be honest with you. But when I look at the Google images, it was old gear. Uh, and and what they did was they did the complete conversion to Ericsson. So all the old Nokia gear has been replaced. Anyways, you'll see uh, they got all their radios up there. Uh, mo most importantly, I don't know if you guys can tell in the middle. And, and facing, I'm directly line of sight facing the sector. You have the two 3 gigahertz uh radios and antennas those two integrated antennas those uh smaller ones you have the dod at the uh at the top and then you have the c-band at the bottom uh the two components of n77 and you know this this tower site got the full conversion uh the performance on it i i recorded a video i just have to edit it and those types of things but the range on this tower site is excellent it's very tall it's actually like smack dab in the middle of a neighborhood uh, booming tower site. It's like 200 plus feet and it serves. There's like a busy uh, commercial street that's like two or three blocks away. And it's a, it's right on the it's in Lorain, Ohio, uh, which, you know, it's it's kind of like I'd say about 25 or 30 miles west of Cleveland. So I kind of had to leave the county and kind of go to the edge of the typical work and play area uh, of where I am. Uh, but I found it and I'm, I'm seeing that theme, you know, it's what AT&T is doing. They're going to places where the tower sites, they have easy access to, uh, they're very legacy and very old, and they're just going to go ahead and modernize them while doing these conversions to Ericsson. So I've noticed, I haven't seen any of the already modernized sites in the Cleveland area get converted. They're the two sites now that I found are in places where the network is very outdated, old. They're just simply modernizing it and doing the conversions in the process. So that seems to kind of be the case. So if you're looking for the AT&T modernization process to happen, the older the sites that you see, the more likely they are to get these conversions in these Nokia markets. Now I'm in a Nokia market. The surrounding area like Pennsylvania, Ohio is, is, is Nokia. So crews are going to be very active doing this. But like I said, I, I have, I shared the speed test on the Patreon and with the YouTube members. The downlink throughput is is very good. Unfortunately, this tower site has a one gig circuit. So that's the second site now that I found that is one gig circuit for the conversions. So I can't share with you like, you know, these incredible throughputs. They need multi gig uh, fiber to do that. But the uplink performance is great. It's like 80 megabits a second. Uh, the downlink was like 450. Uh, the performance was really good from range. Over a mile away, it was still getting like 15 megabits uplink and 400 plus megabits downlink nokia sites don't do that at least not here you know and i i know that there's some kind of a, a download versus upload scheduling thing that happens with the software that nokia has chosen and how they do their things but ericsson i think they have some kind of patent technology that allows them to better manage the downlink and uplink throughput scheduling so this conversion is definitely going to improve the network. And like I said, they, there's no AT&T fiber here on the site. So they're they're leasing or renting circuits from someone, I'm guessing Spectrum, 
and and that's why they chose one gig to probably save money uh but yeah the the we're starting to see more and more sites getting converted so the crews are active in ohio we're finding more sites getting work done and getting replaced and uh I'm excited to share more with you guys in a future video, so stay tuned. I, I do have the video form coming. I just have to do the editing and the uploading, and I'll explain. Um, you know, these bigger antennas and radios that you guys will see here on the outer parts, right? So the two big ones, that's for, like, your AWS, your PCS, the Band 66, the Band 2, uh, you know, your your NR 5G radios are up there, too, for the, the lower frequencies, but... You know, the, it's it's really all about that DoD and C band for AT and T creating the capacity, right? 80 megahertz of the 3700 C band, and then 40 megahertz of the, you know, 3450 DoD, combining for 120 megahertz of bandwidth really is what creates the capacity, and then it's good to see it happening in all these places where the network's gotten old, but eventually they will make their way to the cities too, right? They will be converting all these sites. To Nokia over the course of the next two years. Um, projects expected to, to roll through 2026, but we're already seeing them getting busy here in Ohio. Anyways, be on the lookout, more content coming. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and we shall see you all in the next one. Peace.